Fernando C. Moika, the current uh, Vice President of uh, Cavite State University for Research, Extension, Continuing Education and Training Services. Cavite State uh, University has seven uh, thematic areas. Four out of uh, seven of these areas are being directly supported by the BS Agriculture Program and the College of Agriculture, Forestry, Environment and Natural Resources as a whole. Coffee and cow research and development are well supported by the highly competent faculty and staff of the college, while agriculture students are conducting their undergraduate thesis in line with organic and urban agriculture. very abundant in Indian Cavite. It is considered to be an indigenous source of sap, locally known as tuba, which is very rich in sugar. Simple evaporation of the palm syrup of the plant can produce syrup and brown sugar with low glycemic index. Sugar from cow oil is good to the body, especially of those who are prone to sugar-related diseases, and it can serve as good alternative to table sugar. Among the cow related extension programs of the college is the Asupan Mula sa Kaong Project. Among the recipient communities is the Balanglay Bangkot at Milang Cavite. We're trained on brown sugar and syrup production from Kaong Sat, basic financial management and management of a micro-scale Kaong production business. Teddy F. Tepora. I finished BS Agribusiness. Being a product of CVSU, I was endowed with skills and training that open windows in the field of research and extension activities, especially in the research and development of dragon fruit. The university's dragon fruit R&D involved the development of products from pill damaged dragon fruits for processing into consumer products, which received Patents being awarded to Cavite State University involved in the products. Hi, I am Professor Noel Sedigo from the College of Agriculture, Forestry, Environment and Natural Resources. I am the Chairman of the Department of Forestry and Environmental Science and currently the project leader of the Labak Alimang River Watershed Conservation Project in Cavite. One of our advocacies is environmental stewardship, particularly the protection of our water resources. We are very proud to be of help with the Save the Waters of Indang movement or SWIM in protecting and conserving the waters of Indang and the province of Cavite in general.
Daniel Reyes. Nagtapos po ako ng Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, major in Animal Science noong 1996. Sa Don Sibirino Agricultural College na ngayon po ay Cavite State University. Bilang isang graduate po ng agrikultura, kung tayo po ay magkaroon ng hunting puhunan, ay tayo po ay nagtayo ng sariling uh, poultry farm, isang uh, contract growing uh, farm po dito po sa bayan ng Agudsi. Nakatulong po ito ng malaki sa aking pong uh, karera bilang isang politiko sapagkat natutulungan po natin ang ating mga kababayan na uh, mostly po ay mga magsasaka din dito po sa bayan ng Agudsilo. Natuturuan at nabibigyan po ng advice tungkol po sa pag-aalaga ng ilang mga uh, baboy, baka at mga manuman. I am Riza Simora Di Maranan. A graduate of BS Agriculture Program. I am currently the Quality Manager of Syngenta's Philippines Incorporated, which is operating in 90 countries with about 90,000 personnel. It is its main headquarters is in Basel, Switzerland, and my roles and responsibilities as a quality manager is to assure that products, products that are released to the market, are within are in conformance and compliance with product specifications and standards. Magandang buhay. Uh, ako po si Shernan Haro. Uh, Nag-aral ng Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, major in Animal Science. Noong 2001, ako po ay gumraduate sa Cavite State University. Uh, at ako po ngayon ay uh, ang Assistant Vice President ng Haro Development Corporation na hanggang uh, sa kasalukuyan kami ngayon ay mayroon ng 5,500 inahing baboy sa iba't ibang parte sa probinsya ng Cavite. At mahigit 450 empleyado ang aming, impli ang aming natutulungan. Magandang araw po. Ako po si Noriel Bergonyo na nagmamayari ng Narda Farm. Ito po sa Dainain Dang Cavite. Ako po ay nagtapos ng Bachelors of Science in Agriculture, major in Animal Science noong 1991 sa DISAC na ngayon po ay Cavite State University. Sa ngayon ang farm ay may dalawang building na may capacity na 3,500 layers. At humigit kumulang na 100 trays per day ang egg na napoproduce. Farm ay may isang pamilyang empleyado at may apat na on-call laborers. At nagsusupply kami ng produkto sa iba't ibang pamilihan dito sa probinsya ng Cavite. Ako po si Michelle Simora Malabrigo. May a graduate of BS Agriculture, major in Horticulture, batch 2009, and I'm a part owner of Cali Verde Farms. Company po namin is, it's a uh, four hectare land. For now, we started at one, uh, a one hectare production. Ang net income po niya ay eight million per year. Ang number of employees po namin sa ngayon is around 10 persons. Masayda, ang dati pong officer in charge ng Department of Agriculture, uh, Tech Gen na nakabase sa Nai Cavite. Uh, napakarami pong mga sadyante upang uh, maging OJT namin. Ang kanilang pong work ethics ay eh, may pagmamalaki. Ako nga po'y natutuwa dahil nung pong panahon na ang ilang po sa kanila ay nag-training uh, uh, sa mismong demonstration form namin. Doon na po sila nalutulog at pag dadating ko po doon ng mga 7.30 na umaga eh napakarami na nilang natrabaho dahil siguro po mga alasin ko pa lang eh nagtatrabaho na sila na hindi na kailang utusan. 
pinipigilan po yung kanilang mga assignment, bibigay yung schedule at ginagawa po nila ng uh, sabot po ng kanilang mga kaya ay talagang ginawa po nila at napakusay po yung kanilang mga uh, napakalakot po na itulong nila sa development train at sa mga trabaho na dapat tapusin ang opisina namin nung sila po ay nandoon. I am Felix Ilaga Ramos, Chief Administrative and Finance Division of the Department of Agriculture, Region 4A. KTNR is one of our partners, an active player in the agricultural sector and in the social system as well. Being part of the Personnel Selection Board, the majority of our workforce are graduates of the Cavite State University, particularly the College of Agriculture, Food, Environment and Natural Resources, equips with appropriate technical and professional competencies thus ensuring the transformation into productive workers of our organization and the society as a whole. Congratulations to the Chief Premier of the Cavite State University for providing graduates worthy of global recognition. Ngayong araw po ako si Ding Bulistico ng Morningside Farms. Um, ito pong Morningside Farm sa isang organic farm, Technodemo Farm ng organic dito sa Madeo, Cavite. Nasa media po, nasa communications po, ninyo ang trabaho po. Ako lang po ay naligaw sa CAPSU. Uh, nakita ko lang State University. I was assuming, sana meron naman silang program for agriculture. Not knowing na ito yung premier university or premier school for agriculture. Mula noon pa, um, looking back, nakikita ko na lahat halos ang nakikilala ko dito ay graduate ng CAPSU yung magigaling dito sa atin, kapit ng Kabsu. Meron pa mga director siya ata sa Laguna, nagaling Kabsu pa nag-aaral. Tanong lang, natsyempo naman na meron silang pa-seminar noon, workshop, uh, actually field school, four months ng uh, high-value crops production. I'm the president of the Philippine Coffee Board Inc., a non-stop non-profit organization that promotes Philippine coffee. We have been working with the Cavite State University um, to further our knowledge in research and in uh, looking at the different varieties of coffee. And through the research center, uh, we are able to conduct uh, all these uh, experiments and we get to learn about new production techniques. Ruel Mojica. Currently, I am the Director of the National Coffee Research Development and Extension Center of the Cavite State University. I would like to share with you my Fulbright experience at Texas A&M University and my techno experience at the University of Toronto in Ontario, Canada. In October 2013, I was given a chance to do my post-doctorate studies at the Texas A&M University under, under the Fulbright Scholarship Grant. With an end goal of providing additional livelihood opportunities for our small-scale farmers here in the Philippines. I believe that proper utilization of wastes could contribute largely in finding solutions to some economic and environmental issues of the country. Another offshoot of this undertaking was the recent collaboration of the Cavite State University with the U.S. Aid and RTI International. Through this collaboration, we were able to establish the wonders of Philippine Coffee Museum here at the National Coffee Research and Extension Center. I was given another opportunity to travel abroad to attend the Techno 2015 training program at the Impact Center University of Toronto in Ontario, Canada. During our final pitch presentation, 
I was able to show to the world the situation of coffee farmers in the Philippines, their struggles in coffee farming, and their perseverance to earn a living. The world was touched by my presentation, leaving the organizer no choice but to, to give to me the best pitch presentation award.